So as you can see, I was fortunate enough to get a couple nice bass in the last couple days. Um, I probably caught, not a ton, but I probably caught 15 to 20 bass in these last two trips. Um, lots of small ones up in shallow water, uh, but I did get a couple. Uh, one was two pounds and one was about two and a half, which is exactly what I was looking for for tonight's dinner. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take deboned bass that's still whole and we're gonna stuff them, I'm gonna wrap them up and we're gonna barbecue these things. One of the things about this is the scales. Um, if you look at any recipes for sea bass or rock bass, um, the ones that I've seen, they all scale them. Large mouth and small mouth have very different scales than saltwater fish. The scales, there's tons of them and, and they don't lay on on top of the skin. They're stacked like a deck of cards at an angle. You cannot get the scales off these things. I don't care how you try it unless you completely mince the meat inside. Their scales are not gonna come off, but it doesn't matter. Once you get the, the bones out, you rinse the scales that you break loose off. When you cook these things on the grill, the scales cook to the skin. You don't have to worry about scales coming off later. That was one of the things I was really concerned about the first time I did this. Didn't have one scale come off. The scales cooked right to the hide and it just peeled off just like it was part of the skin. So you don't have to worry about scaling them. It saves a lot of time there, but getting the bones out takes a little bit of extra time. Uh, let's get in the kitchen and start cooking these things. I can't wait to have them for dinner.
from the field to your table. Enjoy. Enjoy.